Good morning, Birmingham Unitarian Church. We're going to start our worship this morning by reading together the covenant that we have made as a beloved community. Please read along with me. As part of this beloved BUC community, I promise to, to strive to be my best self in all my interactions, assume the best intentions of everyone's actions, be mindful of our shared humanity in my communications, pause, reflect, and be part of the solution when things go awry. Thus do we covenant. Thank you. Good morning, Birmingham Unitarian Church. Good morning. Oh, come on. I deserve a little bit better than that. Come on, a little warmer. There we go. Whether you are joining us here in the sanctuary or virtually via Zoom or rebroadcast later, we welcome you. It is good to connect. As a multi-platform church, it is important for us to build a bridge between us, us here in the sanctuary and those who are joining us virtually. This is something we like to call greeting our virtual neighbors. First, we'd like to project the image of all the people joining us via Zoom today and ask them to give us a nice wave. And then we'll ask everybody here to turn around, face that camera, and give them all a wave back. Wherever, however, whenever we connect with BUC, we are building BUC at home, on campus, in the world, every day. We are Birmingham Unitarian Church, and we are building the beloved community. We join with other Unitarian Universalists around the world as we light our chalice. Today's chalice lighting is by Ben Sewell. Out of darkness, light. Out of light, warmth. Out of the warmth, joy. Out of the joy, togetherness. May this flame hold us for the time we are here with one another. Will you please rise in body or spirit and join in singing our first hymn this morning? Now let us sing. One, two, three. You remember this one. You've sung this before. You can sing at the lower part or the higher part. Just join in and add your voice to our mix. Let's bring the joy. Now let us sing to the Stop your 
ahead and guess today's, uh, <laughs> the theme of today's uh, worship service is joy. While joy is a feeling and an expression of emotion, these feelings can be housed in a single object sometimes. These items may not be of significance to anyone else, but since that object houses a small ounce of your joy, I wanted to find a way to honor that joy with a visual display. So today, I hope you remember to bring an item with you that makes you feel joy. If you have a little sense of panic because you forgot it, take a look at what's on your person. Sometimes we keep the things uh, that we enjoy most with us at all times and we don't even think about it sometimes. So take a minute to think if you don't immediately have something or if you really have something in mind, just visualize it up here and then you'll, the, it'll count. <laughs> so I would invite you now for everybody to line up on this side of the aisle, come across, place your item on the altar and I can't wait to see what it all looks like. Well, BUC, you understood the assignment. <laughs> I want you to take a moment, quietly reflect, look over all these objects, just get a sense of how much joy for whatever stories out there, and these would be great stories to tell at coffee hour, of just what it is up here that brings everybody so much joy. We're gonna leave this up for the remainder of the service and then um, we can come pick it up afterward. Thank you. The mission of Birmingham Unitarian Church is to be a free and welcoming religious community that encourages lives of integrity, learning, service, and joy. One way we live out that mission is by giving our weekly, half of our weekly offering to a nonprofit organization that shares our values and addresses needs in one of these areas, environmental action, economic justice, civic engagement, and racial justice. We support a new organization each month. December's recipient has a video from the Welcome In.
For many years, BUCers have been volunteering at the Welcome Inn, which is at Star Presbyterian Church at the corner of 13 Mile and Crooks. Uh, as you've just seen, plenty of services offered for up to 45 beds. So please, let there be an offering in support of our beloved community and organizations like the Welcome Inn that build the world we dream about. This morning's offering will now be received with gratitude. We are a church of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. With gratitude, we dedicate your offerings to do the good works of our congregation and dedicate ourselves to its service. Now is the time in our service we set aside for spiritual practice. And we'll start that with the sharing of joys and sorrows. And fittingly today, we have a joy from Larry Larson. I'm very grateful to those that participated in the wonderful memorial service and reception yesterday for Anne. I'm sure she would have loved have the focus be on joy. We will save a spot in our hearts for those whose joys are left unspoken and those sorrows too great to share.
New this year, we are including an embodied practice in our spiritual practice. Research indicates that the pressure and stress of the past several years has impacted our bodies and had an impact on our behavior. We have faced a lot of trauma, an accelerated level of change. Without enough opportunity, to process or integrate what we've experienced. So we've added this element to our worship service in an effort to use mind-body integration practices to help us feel centered and grounded. I invite you now to close your eyes or soften your gaze as you feel comfortable. I want you to imagine that there is a comforting stream of light coming from above you and moving through the top of your head. Feel this light make its way down your face, down the back of your neck, Notice it on your shoulders as it flows down your chest, arms, torso, and gradually to your legs and all the way to your feet. Allow this light to slowly flow through your body to wherever you are holding tension. When this light finds that place of tension, imagine that it warms the tight muscles, allowing them to release. Feel the blood come back to that area of your body. Feel the warmth, feel the healing. Breathe slowly, and deeply, feeling the relief that healing light brings. When you are ready, open your eyes and come back to us. So today's theme is exploring joy. And when I think of someone creating joy in a bleak world, my first thought is of a Canadian man named Gurdip Panker. His mission is to spread joy around the world through dance. Here's an example of someone who not only celebrates joy, but creates it for millions to see. Here's an example of his dance.
We invite you to stand up and exude your joy physically if you'd like to join in. Please sing along and let's see some dancing. We know you have some moves out there, BUC. <laughs> today is joy. And I could stand up here and give you my inner thoughts on what joy means and what it could mean and, you know, the usual. But I thought rather than listening to me stand up here and talk about the concept of joy, I think our time would be better spent creating some joy ourselves. So what we're going to do is have ourselves a snowball fight. We are going to pass out pieces of paper. I got my two pulver bears here helping. Go ahead and get started. Everybody take a couple pieces of paper and a writing implement. And take the time that it's going to, <laughs> through, through, we're gonna listen to a, a familiar happy song. So take some time and write on there a message of joy or love or affirmation that someone else is gonna read. Something like, I hope you smile today, or someone's got your back, or you are loved. Something positive that you would love someone to remember about themselves. All right, so you're gonna write those out, and then when you're done writing them out, you're gonna crumple them into a snowball. All right, so go for it.
finished up writing their affirmation. Now we are gonna divide into teams. I'm gonna split you right down the middle here. Everybody over on the side, I feel like there's an unfair advantage on this side. So anybody who's sitting over in this area would like to come and join this team, please come take a seat over here. Give them some backup. I'm good, thanks. You guys read some though. All right. Well, now what we're gonna do, you've crumpled them up, you got your snowball. All right. We're gonna throw them at each other. <laughs> when I say go, you are gonna throw your snowball at the other team. And they're gonna do the same. Now when you are all out, <laughs> when you've thrown yours, as long as the song's still going on, you're gonna pick up whatever falls near you and throw it back, all right? We're just gonna have continuous snowball fight, try and avoid the eyes and the groin and all that, you know. All right? When I say go, we're gonna be ready to go. Ready? And go! <laughs> Turn back to your seat. All right, now as you find your way back to your seat, I invite you, if you haven't already, open up your snowball, read the message of love inside. If you don't have a snowball, please raise your hand. Please take a minute to quietly read the message to yourself. Mm, I, love that. Nice. 
I encourage you all to keep these little love notes and put them somewhere where you can see them regularly. Well, we're gonna finish up our service with this last hymn, which is really about giving and receiving. If you would rise in body or spirit and join singing with your full energized snowballed voices, from you I receive. service. Go now into this world as a beacon of hope and joy. Go in love, go in peace. Now that our worship has ended, our service begins. May it be so. Amen. Blessed be.